So, yeah, I would just not strive for change, but embrace change as the father and reveals your true nature and your true identity. Then it will begin to shape how you think and how you act and what you do in this realm from what you've received in that realm of intimacy in in the father's heart. But also the father is in you. Jesus is in you. The Holy Spirit is in you as well. So they also occupy you in this realm you are a house of god you're a temple therefore god's presence on earth is in you and in me and can manifest in us and around us on earth so ultimately we are to be a manifestation of heaven on earth a manifestation of our intimacy with the father on earth and the world desperately needs manifest in love and the people need to see love in action and they need to see God as love. Which is why, you know, we've got to make sure we're not operating out of our old mindsets, which may have a view of God, which isn't true. And most religious mindsets do have a view of God, which isn't true. You know? So those things need to be part of the renewal process. I don't want to be shaped by a religious mold any more than I want to be shaped by a worldly mold. I want to be shaped by what God says and who, what his intention was for me. And I think identity is, you know, is the absolutely vital key mm. in everything, you know, and that's what was lost, identity. So when I'm found, then my identity can be restored. And then I will be whole. When I truly know who I am, I know that there's no sickness or disease or anything else that was designed to occupy my body. So I can therefore see myself differently when I see God's intention for me. But we are often taught to do it the other way around. I'm trying to believe hard enough for the truth in spite of all these things that are contradictory to the truth. Whereas in the realm of heaven, there is no contradiction. It is just the truth. And ultimately, the heavenly manifestation will change the facts that we are living in on earth as we allow him to do it. You know, do I have a part to play? Yes. And once I start to embrace my identity, I realize that I can begin to call forth that reality and i can begin to be part of that reality but i just want to spend time face to face and heart to heart with father you know because that's where my sonship is coming from from my dad thank you for watching our youtube channel we really appreciate you taking the time if you enjoy these videos would you please take a moment to like comment and subscribe it really does help thank you very much